police officers have read it. What are you thinking when you see cases like George Floyd? Absolutely sick to my stomach. I'm a lieutenant in my hometown police department. I started my day by showing the video to my officers and making sure my people understood that this is murder, plain and simple. You never, outside of a life and death struggle, do anything like this. George Floyd was handcuffed and on the ground. If he was still struggling badly enough that they felt a need to hold him down, there's a hundred ways to do it safely. Use of force should always be as measured and considered as possible. There will always be times where an officer sees danger and has to make a split second decision without the luxury of weighing the consequences. That clearly was not the case here. He had all the time in the world to think about what he was doing. He had multiple people there telling him to stop. And none of his fellow officers intervened. All of that is why I find this incident particularly disgusting. They had so many chances to do the right thing. Luckily, I have the fortune of working with good people who see this crap for what it is. Before the video was over, before I told them that George Floyd died because of this, my officers were muttering things like, what the freak is he doing? You can't do that crap, and he needs to get off the man's freaking neck. Made me way prouder to be their leader than any number of arrests they could make to see that their instincts were not to defend the officer. For what it's worth, I'm glad that they were fired. I've heard mention in this thread that one of the officers has been arrested, which is great if true. I hope they are all brought to justice. Their actions, and lack thereof, were completely unconscionable. <laughs> Retired after 28 years. Nothing less than murder. All the guys I work with would never have considered doing something like that. You treat combative in custody as once they are secured as human beings. Nothing should be personal. Once they've been subdued, and you are safe as an officer, you stand him up, pat him down, and understand that your arresty is at a low point in his life. Give him some dignity and you'll generally get his respect. It works 90 plus percent of the time. That man was subdued and nobody should have been on him at that point. Not a local, I'm a fed. Five years into the job. George Floyd was murdered, and it's freaking disgusting. We are trained that anything involving the neck is a no-go and is considered deadly force. We were also trained that if you make an arrest in a prone position, you search and then immediately move them onto their side or a seated position because the risk of asphyxiation is so great. If a suspect says they can't breathe, believe them and take measures to correct to it. This training is reinforced at least twice a year in our use of force training. These officers deserve to spend the rest of their lives in prison. I'm a police officer in California. I'm absolutely disgusted by the officer's actions. When someone is in our custody you must treat them properly. I don't care if they are arrested for murder or forgery. They are a human with a story and they deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. I had tears streaming down my face watching the video of George Floyd. We swore to protect our communities and that's what we set out to do every day. Putting a knee into the neck of a handcuffed man for an extended period of time isn't protecting. A man has lost his life due to the gross negligence of an evil person. May he rest in peace. Cop here. Disgusted. There are a 1000 reasons why this shouldn't have happened. Simple, easy, steps that should have been taken. Lessons that policing has learned over the past 200 years and basic things taught in every academy. Make no mistake, this was murder. Maybe not premeditated murder, but nonetheless murder. I will be angry if those officers do not get indicted. I'm a former police officer and so have had plenty of training in physical restraint of individuals being arrested. There is no police academy training officers to kneel on someone's neck to subdue them, that's how you kill a person. There is extensive training on how to avoid seriously injuring a person while restraining them, and I guarantee you every one of these officers was trained to never strike a person in the neck or choke them. The officer who killed him is very clearly liable for manslaughter at the very least, and I think the other officers who stood by have some accountability as well, because they knew damn well that was not how you handle a person, and should have stepped up. 
I was a cop in the military. In the police academy this was one of the things that taught us not to do as it could crush the windpipe. The only time I was ever taught to use chokes and neck halts was in combat training for deployments. But when we got back we always had to attend retraining classes to relearn what we can do stateside. <laughs> Sheriff's deputy here, and I must say that I'm disgusted by the unnecessary loss of life. There are moments that make me regret what I do, and this is one of them. I've met my share of racists wearing a badge, and I'm ready for a career change. The oath we take is to uphold the law and constitution, so for the officers on scene there that could have stepped in and prevented this, freak you. One bad apple always ruins the bunch, unfortunately. I pray for the George's family, and that justice is served. Throw away for obvious reasons and yes I'm a white male. Edit, wasn't expecting this to blow up as it has. I'm responding to you guys when I can, and I'm glad we can have a conversation about this. We do not unionize in my state for law enforcement, and I see many comments about systemic protection and abuse. I have never worked under a police union, but I have worked with people who were unionized, and I have heard my share of stories where Len is protected by the union. Stories I hear are about union protection from bad leadership, but I can imagine those protectionists may extend further in cases such as this. As a son of a former police officer, my dad worked really hard to be an honest cop. His department was full of racists. They didn't like him because he was a decent cop, they couldn't do anything wrong on front of him. We saw the news together, and I saw him wipe a tear, but tried really hard to hide it. I know he's sad, and I don't want to push him to talk about it, but we both know things like this is always gonna happen, and that is a really sad fact. I can't possibly understand why a human being would do something like this. I used to be a police officer. It was freaking embarrassing going out the day after something like this happened. One of the reason I quit was because I had no pride in my job anymore. For the people doubting if I used to be a cop or not, this is the only proof I really have, in order to get the police officer flare on slash r slash protect and serve you need to send the mods a pic of your police issued id haven't been to that sub since before I quit, but here it is imga.com. I work for a US federal bureau, but am not a local police officer. All four cops need to go to jail. Derek Chauvin, the cop with the neon George's neck, should've gone to jail long ago. The guy apparently has a history of doing this. This is his third time in 15 years. Black people need to keep fighting, and white slash Asian slash Latino people need to support them. Justice for cases like this won't come easy, and it won't come soon. But if they keep fighting, I truly believe that one day, eventually, it will come. Ah, a post I can finally answer. Based in Scotland, I'm a police officer with 5 years service, two of which I have been a part-time officer safety instructor. During this training we go over a training subjects and handcuff techniques that we use to at This includes all safety aspects including where to apply handcuffs, how tight they should be, ensuring the technique is done correctly, and that the subject is in a controlled but safe position. Positional asphyxia is a vital topic we cover, and it is reiterated time and time again that, if a subject ends up on the ground we never, and I reiterate again, never, place any sort of weight on them. Hell even when sitting in the back of our cars, we watch them, and ensure they can breath, and are in a comfortable position for transport. What these cops did, was just plain stupid, disproportionate and frankly an embarrassment to policing. I'd also use disgusting if I'm honest. I just hope that people know we are not like this. I have a degree in law enforcement and work in corrections in Minnesota. My thoughts are freak that guy. Nobody is taught to put their knee on a guy's neck and leave it there until he passes out and dies. He may as well have had his hands around the man's neck. If I were to go off the video evidence, the officer should be arrested for murder. Subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.